Hello folks, welcome back to the Samurai 1-1 channel. Here we are, we're back in Flight Sim 2020. Uh, I'm going to try a flight from, so this will be my first flight from one airport to another. So I'm going to fly from Gloucestershire here, my home airport, EGBJ. And we're going to head over here to Shobden. Now this is a flight that a lot of learn pilots who are learning, so student pilots who are learning at Gloucestershire Airport, at one of the many schools that are down here, uh, they do this flight quite often, especially when they're um, post solo, but pre um, kind of passing and, and being awarded their PPL. Uh, and this is their cross country flight that they tend to be um, that they tend to do to try and make sure that they're um, uh, able to navigate and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now. I'm going to fly this um, with live conditions. So I've not flown with live players before. Now, the interesting thing about flying with live players is that the weather is live and the time is live. So this is the time it actually is outside. So it's going to be dark. Um, we're going to turn air traffic on to live traffic. Again, things that I've not done before. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to fly a direct GPS route. So we are going to fly with instruments. Um, I'm not going to fly VOR to VOR, not, not least which because there's not a lot of VORs in this part of the country. Uh, I could fly with low altitude airways and take some of these um, uh, fixed locations, uh, but I'm just going to go direct GPS. Now, when a student pilot does do this flight, they number one, they do it during the day. Gloucestershire Airport shuts at, I think, 7 p.m. every night, uh, which in the wintertime gets you a little bit of night flying, but not an awful lot. Um, if you're doing this flight... Um, during the daytime, uh, a lot of student pilots, what they'll do, in fact, I think most of them when they're doing this, this cross-country practice, what they'll do is they'll do the flight um, in VFR and they'll look for VFR conditions. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna be doing it at night. I'm gonna just see if I can, oh, there's my, my, I was watching some Obama stuff, reminiscing of the good old days. So I'm not getting all political again, but um, let me just get maps up here. So, where are we? Gloucestershire Airport is here, right there. That's where we are. So we're gonna take off and we're heading to Shobden. So let's see if we can get Shobden up here. There it is. Um, where's the airport? Let's turn this on, see if we can see it on the satellite. There it is. Shobden Aerodrome. So that's what we're going to head for. You can see that there's a grass strip and the main strip. And that's what we're headed for. So let's get this back into... And maybe let's see if we can get terrain turned on. How do I do that? Over here. And I want terrain. Okay, some hills to the north of Shobden. We'll be able to see those as we're coming in. Um, right, so what are we looking for? What are some of the things we could be looking for on the flight. Um, it's Gloucester, it's over here. So we're gonna take off from probably 27, head up this way. We'll see some of these hills. Not an awful lot out here. We'd be, we could be looking for Hereford. We'll see Hereford as we're, as we're flying through. So you know what we could do is we could take off. We could fly from city to city. So we could be looking for we could be head, head, you know, could head for Ross on Y, and then turn north. Um, this is the the these are the um, this is the Y Valley down here. So we could um, head from Ross on Y up to Hereford, and then from Hereford uh, head towards Shopton. Uh, we've got the GPS, so we should be all right. But I am going to try and see if I can pick out some of these landmarks. So we'll be looking for uh, Hereford. It's going to be nighttime, so we're going to be able to see the cities relatively well. Hereford's a good-sized town, so we should be able to see that. Uh, and we're going to be looking for Shobden just up this way. So, right. Let's get that back over there. And, right, I think everything's set up. So, like I said, yeah, we're, um, we're all set up for live and everything. We are going to fly this little um, VL3, which has only one livery, unfortunately. Um... ATC options, call sign, flight number, pen heavy. Uh, no. All right, well, this is the one we're gonna fly. Um, I've not flown it yet, so I'm curious to try it, not least of which, because it looks like a really cool little plane. So let's jump in the cockpit, get this thing powered up, and um, we'll head over and take off.
All right, here we go. Lots of night lighting. Oh man, look at the night lighting. Visibility seven miles. Wind, a little bit of wind. This little plane. Look at that. It's a cool little plane, isn't it? Cool. All right, ready to fly. Ooh, we've got a flashlight on. Now, if you remember, I parked the last one up uh, and we parked here um, in the last video. Blimey, I'm going to be doing that a lot. Oh, that's a shame. I wish it would stop. I wish track IR would stop um, going outside the canopy like that. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, let's go here. Let's go to checklists before engine and starting. All right, fuel tank selector open. Okay, throttle to idle, done, choke, is that this, on, fully pulled, done. Okay, master switch on, there we go, Oof. let's do this. There we go, avionics master on, done. Fuel pump on, where's the fuel pump in this thing? Over here maybe, ventilation, cabin heat. We'll turn the strobe on in a second. Where is the fuel pump in this plane? Sorry for fumbling around a little bit. I probably should have figured out how to do all this. Ah, there it is. Fuel pump. Ooh, I can hear it. I can hear it. All right, brakes fully applied. There we go. Tick, starter, engage. There we go. Plane has started up. Oil pressure. Where's the oil pressure in this guy? Oh, over there. Oil pressure's in the green, oil temperature's in the green. Volts are looking good. Fuel quantity is high, RPM's where, where it needs to be. The manifold in is right where it needs to be. Good, all right, choke off. Done, brakes released. I'll do that when I'm ready to taxi. Cool, there we go. All right, done, page complete. Any other pages? No other pages. Good. All right. We have started this aircraft up. I'm surprised it didn't ask me to put the strobe on. It really should have. What are you doing? You're going to make it difficult for me to taxi out of here. Hello. How you doing? What's up, dude? You need to be in bed. It's late. It's not really. It is a neat little plane, I will say. Okay, those... those cars are not particularly helpful right now and that guy as well all right dude well just block me in why don't you okay how's this gonna work okay okay well this isn't gonna work um Mm. Uh. Okay. What do I do now? Well, that seems a bit silly. Right, well, I'm going to have to go down there. I don't want to. I want to go it that way. But I'm going to have to go down that way. Okay. I can see what Microsoft's trying to do here. parking brake on this thing? There is. Okay. Alright, jackasses. I'm going to get the landing light on, see if I can get some lights on here. Oh, 
Well, that was a bit unhelpful, wasn't it? I can see what Microsoft's trying to do here, trying to add some realism. But not so cool. All right, I'm out of the way. I'm going to call and I'm going to do some radio stuff. Um, so, here. Uh, Gloucester Ground. No, I want... Uh, ground services. Go back to clearance. No, no, I want to go back. ATIS, there we go. Okay, now I'm noticing frames slowing down. I wonder, because I've not changed the graphic settings, so I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that it's nighttime and it's the lighting. Let's see if I turn down the multi, the, um, well, the um, super sampling. Yeah, that's helped an awful lot. Okay, well, we've got We've got uh, ATIS. Let's get the tower and, uh, sorry, ground and, oops, sorry for the noise. Uh, where are we going? We're heading uh, bleh, mm, north, mostly. Cluster ground, JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra with November request taxi to the active north departure. This way, because those jackasses were over there blocking the way. So this is what we want here. We want to turn up the Foxtrot taxiway there. So putting the brakes on. To be fair, whenever I've taxied out of Stowerton Flying School, which is that location that we were just at. I've always come out this way. So maybe that fire truck did us a favor and forced us to be realistic, but yeah, jackasses. Might turn down that kind of thing. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? Like, it's pretty neat that the airport's alive in that way. But yeah, not when it blocks you in. The taxiways at that part of the airport are quite tight. So. And now there's a truck headed straight for me. Okay. How does this work? Well, hopefully this doesn't damage the aircraft. I've not hit him, but wow, that's not helpful. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna turn down that type of stuff. unless they're doing some kind of fire training here there would never be this many civilian vehicles like just wheeled vehicles driving around the airport all right well we're here in one piece Flaps to take off, fuel pump is on, 
the landing lights already on. Turn the uh, transponder on. In fact, we'll put it on altitude. I head over this way now. Right, like I said in the last video, this is the displaced threshold. Um, Gloucester doesn't mind if you use this part of the runway, this displaced threshold to take off on your takeoff roll. So that's fine, we're doing that. Um, they don't like you landing on it though. Blimey, that was a quick takeoff. Gear up, positive rate. Flaps up a notch. RPM's in the red, so I'm going to pull back on that a bit. Flaps up. Alright, sounds good. Look at the lighting. Bah! Amazing. All right. How do I get the RPMs down? This doesn't have. This thing doesn't have. Uh, it's got a fixed prop. Oh, I'm low. I'm low. Watch what you're doing. Trim, trim, trim. Alright, I'm going to trim for a climb. I don't know what VY is in this aircraft. That RPM at that speed is worrying me. trim for about 85 seems like a logical now what do I do about this prop being in the red it's now in the yellow goodbye Gloucester Just trying to come north so I can get on the proper track. I really wish I could turn this light off. Yeah. Okay. I'm worried that I'm going to over torque that RPM, over spin the RPM. And I have no idea how. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. It's not a fixed propeller. There we go. That's better. Better than the prop blowing up, anyways. Uh, right. So let's go back on this. I'm all over the place. I'm ragged. I'm so out of practice. Alright. That's Gloucester City. That's Gloucester Airport back there where we just take, took off from. So that's Gloucester City. Down there is the Severn River uh, and the um, Bristol Channel. Let's do our free to checks. So fuel, we're on left, uh, and left is looking fine. Uh, radios, radio is still set to 122.905. We could tune departure right now, Gloucester departure, um, which we will do. Gloucester approach, I suppose. Um, we don't have flight following in the UK. We have something similar but not really it so 
Um, so that's radios, uh, engines looking good, T's and P's are all looking good. Uh, D, what's D? And uh, for Frida, Frida. Fuel, radio, engine. Don't know what D is. We can turn the landing light off though. And we can turn the fuel pump off though. Um, and A is altitude, I think. So, or attitude, one of the two. So we're at 3,100 feet at our cruise speed of about 104, 105 knots. Uh, we're roughly on course. Just looking over at the map here. What is this river? Oh, stop banking over, right? I'm gonna trim it left. Let's get our VFR map up, maybe. What river is that? What river is that? Is that the Hay River or the um, the Y River, possibly? Still banking over left or right. Just give a bit more trim in. I'm not sure. Well, VFR has gone out the window. <laughs> Good thing we've got GPS. Yeah, that's Ross on Y down there. Great little town. I've got a motorcycle and I ride towards Ross a lot. Hereford, which we'll be coming up to next. Uh, which could be that over there, I'm not sure. Yeah, so if that's... Where'd it go? Yeah, if that's Ross on Y, that would make this the M50, I believe. All right, we're 10 miles. We're 10 miles from Shobden now. So let's choose EGBS and it's traffic. Right, there's Shobden. So wind is from the west tonight, so we're going to land 265. Okay, come back over this way. So we're going to land on runway 26 or 27. So keep heading towards Shopton. We got seven miles to go. What I'll probably do is. Uh, overfly the air, airport, do a, um, uh, an overhead join. Uh, what's the elevation here? Elevation is at 317. So, elevation at 317, um, which means pattern will be 1300, which means we'll join at 2300. So, 2300 is what we want to cross the airfield at. So right about now I'd be calling traffic saying uh, JMB blah 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 uh, inbound for an overhead join runway 27 um, will be uh, left traffic. Still can't see the runway though. This would be a not a great flight if we weren't able to land. Uh, there it is. There it is. Okay so we need to start our descent now. So an overhead join, we're going to fly left traffic, which means we're going to overfly the, the airfield, get to the other side, like I said, a thousand feet above the pattern altitude. And the pattern altitude at this airport is, um, is going to be 1300 feet, a thousand feet above the ground, uh, above field elevation. So, and the field elevation is 13, uh, sorry, 317 feet. So at 2,300, we're gonna overfly the airfield. We would call overhead, we'd call on the dead side, which is the, the dead side is the opposite side to the live traffic. Uh, and then we would fly left, um, we'd fly, uh, sorry, um, yeah, left upwind. So there's 2,300, so feed the f power back in. We had about 20, didn't we? 
Boat there. Should level off. Yeah, so we'd um, we fly left upwind, which means that the runway 27 is on our left. We then cross the 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 threshold, um, the the uh, opposite end of the threshold uh, of runway 27. So the end of the runway, which will be down here. Uh, and then once we once we're crossing there, we'll begin our. In fact, once we're on the dead side, we begin our descent down to uh, 1,300 which will be our pattern altitude. And then hopefully by the time we get on a downwind, we'll be at, uh, at 1,300, which will be our pattern altitude. Bit low. We'll be a bit careful when we're crossing the, the pattern. I don't see any traffic around, but you never wanna, you never wanna fly into the pattern at an erratic altitude unless you're planning on joining and you're making the right calls um, you know, we could join on a 45 um, upwind, but yeah, we're going to overfly. We're going to do it as we would normally do it here in the UK. I am a bit low. Just going to feed some power in and get it up. So we're just overflying the airfield. We're about to be on the dead side. begin our descent we're on the dead side now is this a fuel injected engine the reason why I ask is normally what I'd be doing right now is carb heat if you're rolling off the power like that I'd put the carb heat on all right so we're looking for 1300 we're at a pretty crazy descent so I'm just gonna feed a little bit of power in there we are, we're crossing the threshold now. We're 250 feet above pattern altitude. There we go, we're on our crosswind now. Still looking for 1300 terrain warning. There's pattern altitude, a bit low. I'm just going to keep coming around. We're too low. Let's feed some power in. We go hold it there. Come back. Get on our downwind. Ooh, careful of our attitude. Angle of attack is too high there. All right, there we go. So now we're going to start to slow it down and some back pressure on the trim, some nose up trim just to take the back, the, um, back pressure out of the stick. And we're looking for the white arc so we can start to feed flaps in. I'm looking for the runway, there it is. Just on our downwind. Need to come a little bit left for our downwind. 085 is the reciprocal. There we go. Don't want to descend too much. So holding the pressure on, back pressure, back pressure, trimming, trimming, trimming. All right, with the landing lights on, strobe is on. Looking for the white tape so we can start to feed in. So we can start to feed in. Uh, flaps, we're there. Come on. This aircraft does not bleed energy well. And there's our first no notch of flaps. We're going to start our base. Shobden traffic, JMB, blah, 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 is turning base, left base, runway 27 to land. All right, we're a bit low. Again, a bit slow now as well. Second notch of flaps. Probably should figure out the speeds for this aircraft before I, you know, just jump in and start flying it. 
We've got a good attitude for the aircraft there. I like that. We'll hold 50 knots. It's a light aircraft. I don't expect it to be... Ooh, I'm getting a bit of nose up there. Just playing with the throttle, trying to hold at around 1,000 feet. Might be a bit high, but we're all right. We could start a little bit of a descent, so taking a bit of power out of the out of the throttle. Letting the nose come down a little bit. And the feet in full flaps. There we go. We're in our landing configuration for the aircraft now. I'm going to put the fuel pump on. Okay, Vassy lights are looking good. White over red. It's fine. I'm just gonna. It's got a. I've got a bit of right, holding right on the stick, which means that I've got a bit of, probably a bit of um, roll trim, aileron trim. Uh, no, yeah, aile aileron trim. There we go. We're lined up. Return final. So right now I'd be calling final. So, Shobden traffic, Samurai 1, final, runway 27 to land, Shobden. There is an aircraft. Where is it? You can see it on the, uh, the map thing there. I wonder where it is. Cool zap. Oh, a bit low, so we're going to feed some power in. Looking good, we're lined up. Trim is looking pretty good. A little bit of left trim. Our descent's good. I'm playing with the throttle because I'm not used to this aircraft, so I don't know where to stick the throttle to get a good descent rate. I have no idea if the, this is the proper landing speed for this aircraft. I know it's a light little thing, but 43 knots seems pretty slow. <laughs> Um, but we're not stalling. The aircraft looks good. We're right on glide slope, so you know I've not done a night rating. I've not done any night training at all, actually. But I know one of the uh, things that happens with night flying is people tend to stay high. Um, it's just a psychological thing, I think. Um, so I need to make sure that I'm just watching those Bassy lights, making sure that I'm not getting too high or too low. Just check the gear is down. Where's the gear lever? Uh, that oh no, gear is up. Ah. Well, that would have been controversial. Gear is down. Coming down, coming down. Transition to level flight. Taking the power out. Level flight, level flight. Holding off, we're a bit high. Ooh, bounced. Okay. Well, we're down. Not a great landing. Again, I need to get used to the over the cowl attitudes of this aircraft. Um, but yeah, that was fun. This is a fun little plane to fly, actually. I really like it. It's very, um, 
a very low stall speed. I need to look up some of the kind of details about this um, aircraft. Now over there is um, the uh, all the main buildings and that sort of thing. So we're just gonna head over there. There's no taxiways here per se. There's just some grass. So we're just gonna head over. There's the wind sock. You can see the wind is almost dead still. There is a bus. So we're just gonna head across the grass here. Wow, there are a lot of buses here. I say there are no taxiways. Actually, there are. There is a tarmac taxiway, Bravo and Alpha. That's all right, we just went across the grass. Fuel stop over there. Shobden is looking pretty cool, actually. I'm just gonna pull the aircraft in here and I'm gonna shut her down. Okay, so we'll go fuel pump off, landing lights off. Um, I probably should have equalized the fuel before I landed, that was silly. F uh, flaps are up, gear is still down. Uh, we can turn the avionics off. There we go, avionics are off. Um, and we'll turn the fuel to off. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. The other thing I should have done was run this aircraft up. I should have done that, but I didn't. All right, so we can go strobe off now that the aircraft is off and we can turn the battery off. Right, that was the flight from Gloucester, EGBJ, over here to Shobden Airport. Get a little external camera. Yeah, a fun little flight. Shobden's a neat little airport, and this is a very cool little plane. I could see me flying this plane a little bit more. Hope you enjoyed the flight tonight, folks. I had a lot of fun flying it. Please don't crash into me, bus. <laughs> As always, stay happy, stay healthy, look after each other. Samurai is RTB.